Now, these elevated fire conditions as crews already struggle with nuisance fires. This one at an abandoned warehouse complex in Upperland Park. It's a problem spot with multiple fires over the last year, all determined to be human caused. Now firefighters and people nearby calling for the culprits to be caught. Piles of burnt rubble sit behind a chain link fence. The latest leftovers at the old California Shellfish Company, an abandoned property that's now had its fair share of fires. We had people coming from in the front of our business telling us there was smoke coming from behind our business. We thought it was our business. We were feeling the water mist down as well as you know the, the embers coming down from the sky and things like that. So it was definitely close enough to feel all that. Too close for comfort for nearby businesses and frustrating for firefighters caught in a dicey and unpredictable situation. Talk about the the safety issues that this causes for your guys. These buildings are very dangerous. Firefighters had to take a defensive approach, fearing a roof collapse. A fire earlier this year in February left a firefighter injured. Whether they're intentional or accidental, they're a problem for the fire department and for the surrounding community. I'm sure the people that live in this area are sick of seeing our response out to this area. This is the fourth time I can think of coming out here in a year and a half, and it's an issue. Arson investigators have yet to make an arrest as this old warehouse complex continues causing new concerns. Not getting the situation you know, handled and taken care of. Uh, it's definitely you know, created an issue for us consistently. You know, it's, it's, you know, of course, we're all tired of seeing that. You know, it's right behind us. I'd say so. Yeah, that's it's, it's true. Yeah, it's a little concerning. I'd say so. And while arson investigators continue to search for whoever is involved, crews have torn multiple warehouses down that have already caught fire and even added fencing around the area to keep people out.